really, it is a challenge right now. And um, on one hand, I would say this is, uh, this is the result is when you don't have good planning, mm. because suddenly you're finding a lot of resources that are trying to get into weak parts of the grid, and then we have problems with that. So uh, certainly some of the work we're doing around the renewable energy zones. But that being said, uh, I do think one of the things that we're, we're looking to do, in fact, working with the Clean Energy Council, we, we want to get there. I think it's going to be very important uh, as we move forward to get the transmission owners, the uh, new developers, AEMO, as well as the regulators and, and, and the clean, to get us together and start looking at the standards and talking about how do we adapt to a very different future. I mean, we're, last year, you know, AEMO's looked at uh, some of our numbers you know, where before we would have 20 connection requests, we now have 300 connection requests. And so, and you know, adapting to that kind of environment, and I know the transmission uh, TNSPs are seeing the same thing, it's just there's sheer volumes of issues. Uh, the, you know, we have developers who are very sophisticated, we have developers who, when we ask for their GPS uh, coordinates, send us the map, they don't really know what's going on and so and so the, it all it all needs to be sorted through and then we I think one of the things that I'd like us to do in Australia is I want us to think about the standards what we're applying you know the work that we're doing in Hornsdale uh, the work that we're doing with batteries understanding things like synthetic inertia I want to make sure that from AEMO's perspective we're learning with the industry so that we're not imposing requirements that are based on um, not lack of experience and good engineering studies as opposed to engineering experience and thinking about how can we lean in, how can we learn, how, how do we make sure that the standards are calibrated to the actual needs. And so we, because in many ways we're going to be leading the rest of the world in thinking about how do you integrate high levels of renewables. So um, I definitely think we're in a hiccup phase right now because of the volumes and trying to work through the processes. I other, the other thing that we're going to need from the industry, and I've asked uh, sort of my staff to start working with, is that we never, you know, when it took several years to build a power plant, you never really worried about the period of time for connections because it was a long period of time in coming. When people are able to go from conception to build in less than 12 months, then we need to have a much better understanding of their commercial situation so that we're able to communicate to them as to whether or not they're going to meet their commercial needs. Well, so there's, there's a lot of learnings I think we're going to be doing over the next year. And what I'm hoping to do is uh, set up some uh, this collaborative uh, environment where we can get the storage and the solar and the wind guys along with AIM on the owner and the transmission and start really working through how do we, how, what do we need to change to make this work better for everybody.